Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom, destined to become the longest reigning British monarch, Princess Elizabeth of York was born at 2.40 a.m. on April 21, 1926, at 17 Bruton Street in Mayfair, London, the home of her maternal grandparents. She was the daughter of the future King George VI and Lady Elizabeth Boeslion, at the time, the Duke and Duchess of York, and was named in honor of her mother, her great-grandmother Queen Alexandra, who had died five months earlier, on November 20, 1925, and her paternal grandparents were King George V and Queen Mary, born Princess Victoria Mary of Teck, and her maternal grandparents were Claude Boeslion, 14th and 1st Earl of Strathmore and Kinghorn, and Cecilia Cavendish Bentinck. At the time of her birth, Elizabeth was third in the line of succession to the British throne, following her uncle the Prince of Wales later King Edward VIII and Duke of Windsor, and her father, on May 29, 1926, in the private chapel at Buckingham Palace in London, England, Princess Elizabeth of York was christened, for the first few years of her life, Elizabeth was raised at her parents' home at 145 Piccadilly, in London, and at White Lodge in Richmond Park, Elizabeth had one younger sibling, Princess Margaret who was born in 1930, after the birth of Princess Margaret, the family moved to Royal Lodge in Windsor Great Park. Royal Lodge is most associated with her mother, as it was her country home until her death in 2002. It is now the home of Prince Andrew, the Duke of York. In January 1936, Elizabeth's grandfather, King George V, died at Sandringham. Her uncle David became King Edward VIII, and her father was now heir presumptive to the throne, even then. It was expected that the king would marry and have an heir, but as history shows us, this was not how things would turn out. In December 1936, King Edward VIII abdicated the throne, and Elizabeth's father became King George VI. The quiet family life the Yorks had enjoyed would be changed forever. The young 10-year-old princess was now the heiress presumptive to the British throne. However, because there was always the possibility of a younger brother being born and becoming heir apparent, Elizabeth did not receive any of the titles traditionally held by the heir. Upon the family's return home, the engagement of the Princess Elizabeth and Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten was announced on July 10, 1947. The couple married four months later, on November 20, 1947, at Westminster Abbey. Just prior, the king issued letters patent granting Philip the style of his royal highness, and the titles Duke of Edinburgh, Earl of Marianeth, and Baron Greenwich. In addition, he was made a Knight of the Order of the Garter, following their honeymoon, spent at Broadlands, Mountbatten Estate in Hampshire, and Burke Hall on the Balmoral Estate. The couple took up residence at Windlesham Moor, a country home in Surrey that was leased for them. They remained at Windlesham Moor until July 1949 when they moved into Clarence House in London. Elizabeth and Philip had four children, two born before she became queen and two born after she became queen. Their children are... King Charles III of the United Kingdom, and Princess Royal, Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, and Prince Edward, the Duke of Edinburgh, Indiana Late January 1952, Elizabeth and Philip embarked on a tour of Australia and New Zealand on behalf of her father, whose doctors would not allow him to travel. On February 6, 1952, King George VI passed away at Sandringham. The new queen learned of his death at the Sagana Lodge in Kenya where the royal party was staying en route to Australia. They immediately returned to London, where she made her accession declaration to the Privy Council on February 8, 1952. On June 2, 1953, the Queen's coronation was held at Westminster Abbey. This was the first British coronation that had been televised, although some parts were deemed too sacred to be seen. In November 1952, the Queen and Duke of Edinburgh embarked on a six-month tour of the Commonwealth, ending in Malta. Here, the couple was joined by their children, Prince Charles and Princess Anne, and the family returned to London on the newly fitted HMY Britannia. During her reign, Queen Elizabeth II was perhaps the most recognizable person in the world. She made numerous foreign visits, including state visits, and hosted numerous state visits, all in her role as head of state. She also made numerous visits to Commonwealth countries in her role as head of the Commonwealth, in 2012, she celebrated her Diamond Jubilee. Queen Elizabeth joined her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria, as the only two British monarchs to reach 60 years on the throne. 
several days of celebrations were held, including a grand regatta on the Thames, a concert in front of Buckingham Palace, and a service of thanksgiving at Westminster Abbey. It was celebrated not only in the United Kingdom but around the world. Members of the royal family traveled to all of the Commonwealth realms and many of the other Commonwealth countries on her behalf. While Queen Elizabeth II and the Duke of Edinburgh traveled throughout the United Kingdom, on July 27, 2012, Queen Elizabeth II officially opened the Olympic Games in London. On April 9, 2021, Queen Elizabeth's husband of 73 years, Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh died at Windsor Castle in Windsor, England, at the age of 99. Just two months short of his 100th birthday, the funeral arrangements were planned over the years, with Prince Philip's involvement and Queen Elizabeth signed off on the funeral plans. Last-minute changes were necessary to ensure compliance with the pandemic restrictions, including only 30 guests being allowed at the funeral. One of the most poignant images of the funeral was the nearly 95-year-old Queen Elizabeth II, now a widow, sitting alone in a choir stall at Ste. George's Chapel, Windsor. In 2022, Queen Elizabeth II celebrated her Platinum Jubilee, marking 70 years on the throne. There were celebrations throughout the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth nations. On September 6, 2022, at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, Queen Elizabeth II had a meeting with the outgoing Prime Minister Boris Johnson, and then had a meeting with the incoming Prime Minister Liz Truss. On the evening of September 7, 2022, Queen Elizabeth was to be at a virtual Privy Council meeting during which Liz Truss would have taken her oath as First Lord of the Treasury, a position the Prime Minister also holds, and her new cabinet ministers would have been sworn into their roles. However, this statement was released after a full day yesterday. Her Majesty has this afternoon accepted doctor's advice to rest. This means that the Privy Council meeting that had been due to take place this evening will be rearranged. On September 8, 2022, Buckingham Palace issued this statement, following further evaluation this morning, the Queen's doctors are concerned for Her Majesty's health and have rec, amended she remain under medical supervised shown, the Queen remains comfortable and at Balmoral. All of Queen Elizabeth's children and her grandsons Prince William and Prince Harry traveled to Balmoral. Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom died at the age of 96, at Balmoral Castle, her home in Balmoral, Scotland, on September 8, 2022. At 3.10 p.m., more than three hours before the public was informed, the death certificate, released by the National Records of Scotland cites that she died of old age. The informant of her death was the Princess Royal, Queen Elizabeth II's daughter Princess Anne. Only the Princess Royal and King Charles III were with Queen Elizabeth II when she died. After a state funeral at Westminster Abbey in London, England on September 19, 2022, Queen Elizabeth II was interred in the King George VI Memorial Chapel in St. George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in Windsor, England, where her parents and her sister had been interred. At the time of Queen Elizabeth II's burial, the coffin of her husband Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, who died in 2021, was moved from the royal vault at St. George's Chapel to the King George VI Memorial Chapel. Queen Elizabeth II of the United Kingdom is the longest reigning British monarch having surpassed her great-great-grandmother Queen Victoria on September 9, 2015. In May 2022, Queen Elizabeth II surpassed Prince Johann II of Liechtenstein, who reigned from November 12, 1858 to February 11, 1929, for 25,658 days or 70 years. 91 days. And then in June 2022, she surpassed King Bhumibala Dulyadej of Thailand, who reigned from June 9, 1946 to October 13, 2016, for 25,694 days or 70 years, 126 days, to become the second longest reigning monarch. Only King Louis XIV of France, who reigned from May 14, 1643 to September 1, 1715, for 26,407 days or 72 years, 110 days, has reigned longer. There were 15 Prime Ministers of the United Kingdom during the reign of Queen Elizabeth II, Sir Winston Churchill, Sir Anthony Eden, Harold Macmillan, Sir Alec Douglas Holm, Harold Wilson, Edward Heath, James Callaghan, Margaret Thatcher, John Major, Tony Blair, Gordon Brown, David Cameron, Theresa May, 
Boris Johnson, and Liz Truss who became Prime Minister two days before Queen Elizabeth II's death.